From year to year, month to month, week to week, and day to day, people across the world are obsessed with a phenomenon that is professional wrestling. But why? 101 Reasons to Love Professional Wrestling There are many components of professional wrestling that should be both understood and celebrated, in no particular order. Mask Art has dictated the term mask as a face without a body. Many forms of masquerade goes back to the BC times where masks were made of stone. However, the true invention and origins remain an anthropological mystery. Over multiple millennia, many cultures would adopt their own masked rituals. It's an imaginative experience that has played a vital part in the history of humanity. It's more than just a mere piece of costume. A mask serves many purposes. It could be to withhold one's identity. It could be for protection. It could be for ceremony. In professional wrestling, masks have been used for all these reasons and more. At the 1865 World's Fair in Paris, Theobald Barr introduced the mask to wrestling under the gimmick of the masked wrestler. Mort Henderson would introduce his gimmick of the masked marvel in America in 1915. When we're talking about mask and wrestling, one must delve into the world of Lucha Libre. The history of the Lucha Libre style of wrestling has roots embedded in acrobatic mask combat. Mexico is often credited as the originator of masks with hyperbole of mythical ancient roots, but that's not the real story. After seeing Cyclone McKee, an American masked wrestler in Texas, a Mexican promoter would not only bring him to their territory, but adopt the mask for a whole new culture of professional wrestling fans. The company EMLL would essentially take the mask and run with it. They created many masked characters showcasing different personas that would become the standard in Lucha Libre. The craftsmanship of these masks is a true skill of art and elaborate creativity. This would lead to a plethora of masked performers who have made a flipping splash in the history of wrestling. The Volanos, La Parca, El Santo, and others would become world famous for their mask and their skills in the ring. The prolific Mil Mascaris was so popular in the 1960s and 70s that he would become a cultural icon. In Mexico, the mask is treated as sacred, with most masked wrestlers refusing to let their real face ever be seen. If a masked wrestler was being interviewed by the media, the mask would remain on. If they were in movies or just doing everyday things in the public, the mask would always remain on. There have been many luchador performers to wear a mask from the past, present, and future generations, but the most famous modern day masked wrestler is without a doubt, Rey Mysterio. Mysterio has held many championship belts and has been involved in many historical moments. And just about all those championships and moments have been while wearing majestic masks. There have been other performers to wear masks in history as well. A prime example is Mr. Wrestling. Mr. Wrestling 2, 3, 4, 5, and likely even more. Japan has seen a few generations of Tiger Mask performers. There was Big Van Vader's evil jockstrap mask, Kane's haunting leather mask, and Mankind's sadistic brown leather mask as well. The Fiend's horror-inspired mask is one of the more recent additions to the lore of iconic mask. There have been the likes of Mortis, Juan Cena, Abyss, Aldo Montoya, The Executioners, The Patriot, and hundreds of others. It's just another visual to add to the show, but it's not a crutch. If a wrestler is great, 
mask or not, they will be successful. If someone isn't that great, there is no mask that will make them any better. For many, the true workings of what it takes to create something magical in professional wrestling is never fully understood. An element like a mask only adds to the mystery.